and certainly the financial challenges are significant. Steve Onan is the president of the New Hampshire Hospital Association. Tomorrow, he'll go before the Gopher Legislative Advisory Board to provide a status update on Granite State hospitals, which Onan says have been struggling financially. Um, hospitals statewide uh, since the beginning of the pandemic in March to the end of September, we're estimating we'll have lost over $500 million in revenues. That number could hit nearly $600 million by the end of December. Anand says the loss is partly due to hospitals suspending elective and non-urgent procedures as they responded to COVID-19. And while those procedures have returned, hospitals are not back to normal pre-pandemic levels. We're approaching that, um, but we're not seeing that across the board in all service lines. Um, for instance, um, you know, emergency department uh, use, uh, urgent care visit, even primary care is down. Down, uh, below uh, pre-pandemic levels. New Hampshire hospitals have received just over $300 million in grants for support during the pandemic, but Anand says that is not enough to address the hundreds of millions of dollars in lost revenue that local hospitals will experience through the end of the calendar year and beyond. We're going to continue to work to try and find resources wherever we can. And Anand emphasizes that hospitals are safe. So if you have an issue, don't delay, seek help. In the meantime, that legislative meeting is set to take place tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Reporting live, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.